What's up, I'm Drew Paul Bell, and today what I want to talk about with you is a question from our friend Ahmed Haas, and he is asking about computer programs, and wants to know, is it, uh, is it better to start in SketchUp as a conceptual form and then and rough modeling, and then move to ARCHICAD or, or Revit or some sort of BIM software? A lot of professors, a lot of people talk about this. Uh, there is kind of this idea that Revit or these BIM softwares are too difficult to model in, that, and, and, and it can be, because the way that you're modeling in, in Revit or any kind of BIM software is that you're using like a door tool and a wall tool and a slab tool. These tools that, you, that you're using to make, the, to make the pieces of the model, they all kind of have these already built-in default settings, and you kind of have to have an awareness or, or, or an idea about what a lot of those settings need to be before you even put them in there. So if you put in a floor, is the floor going to be, uh, you know, 11 and a quarter inches thick because you're going to have, or 12 inches thick because you have wood framing, or is it going to be like four or six inches thick because it's concrete? You need to kind of have those things already figured out. And you have all these like very explicit, clear settings. And a lot of times those default settings kind of come through. And if you're dealing with Revit or ARCHICAD, a lot of times those default settings are not something that you make a conscious decision about. And then you're presenting it and then uh, professors or jurors want to know why that thing is in there. And you're, then you're like, well, I didn't make the decision. It was just there already. And that can become very problematic. I don't think that you have to do uh, sketch a uh, sketch up for your early concept models. In my office, we use ARCHICAD. And the way that our process generally goes is kind of step one is uh, the principal, the owner of the company, um, Bob Kane, he actually does his drawings on trash paper. So we, a lot of times we'll, we'll print out whatever we have. So a lot of times we do residential uh, renovations. And if, even if we don't have like a renovation project, we at least have like a survey. So you need to know the existing setup for whatever it is that you're designing. So we print that out at a large scale, sometimes like a half inch or an inch equals a foot. And then he spends a couple of days and just draws out kind of his kind of his plan. He's got, sometimes he's got a concept already sketched out in his sketchbook and then um, kind of he's working on the plan and the elevations just on a drawing, on a hand drawing level. And then those drawings will go to me or someone else in the office where then step two is to kind of like model that in the computer. So step one happens on paper, step two happens in the computer and then after we model it we then kind of we look around the 3D model and make decisions based off that, off of um, what looks good, how can we improve this, uh, we work out a lot of the details, but that's kind of how it goes. So, I mean, this whole idea that you have to work in SketchUp early on, I don't know, that's not necessarily true. I mean, I think that that may be better if you're using Revit. I've heard that Revit is really more designed for like engineers than architects. And the people in Europe understand this, but the people in the US think that Revit is just the only thing around. Uh, so, really it just comes down to to me, I think that the question that you need to ask yourself is this, though. I mean, this is what it comes down to. It comes down to how clearly you can think and how fast you can think using that tool and that medium. All right, there's a difference between ideas you think of and ideas you think with. The idea of like the idea of like a pen and paper. That's that's a that's a way that you can think through. Or you think through that. You think with the pencil. You think with the paper. And you think with Revit or ARCHICAD or SketchUp. You think with that tool. Those are tools that you use to then generate ideas. And then the, you generate the ideas that you think of. So the question comes down to how well do you think with that program? Do you think with Revit very well? Some people do. Some people think with ARCHICAD very well. I mean, more people <laughs> than Revit uh, with SketchUp. Some people, I guess, are pretty good at thinking with SketchUp. To be quite honest, I'm not very quick at thinking with SketchUp. I've tried it uh, for stuff kind of like here in my place, just kind of designs I have in mind for things on the side. And I don't find SketchUp very intuitive, but I also haven't put in a lot of hours on it. Like maybe if I put more time on it, it would be good. Um, but also don't, don't knock the, the idea of thinking with pen and paper because thinking that way, I think can actually be very fast. One of the problems, that one of the things that can hold you back in Revit or, or any computer program uh, has to do with like the mechanics of operating the interface because you're limited to a screen. And this is all, this is all that you're allowed to look at. Imagine if you had like a big sheet of drawings and you had to look through like a viewfinder. You can cut out like a little piece of paper for yourself and then like look in and th the way that you zoom in and zoom out, you're not able to actually see the whole set of drawings at one time. So there's a lot of clicking back and forth. There's a lot of opening other views. There's a lot of benefits to using the computer, but reading and understanding everything kind of at play 
is actually really difficult on the computer because of this kind of zoom restriction. But when you're doing sketches on paper, sometimes it's a lot easier to be looking at, for example, even just doing red lines. Uh, this is something I have a lot of experience with. You look at one part of the drawing and then you're like, well, is this the same way that we, is this note over here, the same wording as the note on the other side of the building? And you have to zoom all the way out, wait for it to load, zoom all the way back in. Oh, no, this isn't the right spot. Let's drag the screen. And now we're looking at it over here. Oh, wait, is that the same word? Is that word exactly the same? I'm not sure. Let me go back and check again. Zoom all the way back out, zoom all the way back in. This whole process takes forever, but if you actually have something printed out, you can look over here at the note, look over there at the note. Okay, cool, got it. And then you can sit over here and make adjustments. And you can think sometimes so much faster uh, when you're doing everything just analog and by hand. So the question, I'm answering your question with a question. And the answer is, um, how well do you think with it? How quickly can you think with it? How quickly can you use this to make decisions? And ultimately, I think that's what it comes down to. And that's the crux of the solution to your problem. So I hope that this helps you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll talk to you next time.